Good morning, my name is Stefan Hein. I'm in charge of small tools and data management hardware at Mitutuyo Europe in Germany. This morning, I would like to show you internal micrometer screws. Two-point internal micrometer screws and three-point internal micrometer screws, but with a focus on three-point measurement. So what is the difference between two-point and three-point measurement? Uh, first of all, the advantages of a two-point mic internal micrometer. So the maximum range of a two-point internal micrometer is a five meters. So this is a much more than you can do with a three-point instrument. Three-point measuring instrument is a maximum 300 millimeter. So you can see this one here. So this is a 300 millimeter type. And three-point measurement, we start with six millimeter. So this is a smaller spawn. This is a digital type here. So uh, another advantage of the two-point measuring instrument is that you can measure oval forms. You can measure maximum and minimum diameter of such kind of oval form. This is impossible with a three-point instrument. On the other hand, with a three-point inside measuring instruments, it's a much easier to use. Even untrained person can use this one here very easily because you have a self-centering function. There is a three-point or three-line measurement contact in the hole. And um, based on the ratchet, on the constant measurement force, and based on the ratchet, there is a self-centering. So very easy to use this one here. This is a completely different with a two-point micrometer because two-point micrometer is important to make the alignment in the hole. So, and you need a little bit training, a little bit experience to perform the measurement in this way. Um, the measurement force of a three-point internal micrometer is relatively high. That means if you have um, thin walled work pieces, it's a little bit difficult. So you have to check if the wall thickness is enough that you have no form deviation based on the measurement force which is coming from the instrument. So this is something you have to take care about this. So um, let's speak about how uh, this one is designed or how is the design of a three-point internal micrometer. So I would like to show this in a close-up. So mainly you have three different parts. First of all, you have the micrometer head with the scale graduation, which is usually five microns. The second part you have is a taper. So the taper is this one here. And uh, for the standard version of the uh, instrument, this one is uh, made of tungsten carbide. This is this part here. This is very important for the measurement and it must be high wear resistant. The third part of such kind of instrument is the measuring head with the integrated measuring inserts. You can see here. If I put everything together like this, so the cone or the taper here inside and the micrometer head on top. Well, that's like this. So in here exactly you can see the measurement inserts with the measuring pins. The measuring pins here are titanium coated. This is a standard version of an analog three-point internal micrometer. We have another version which we call economy version. That's this one here. What is the difference between the standard version and the economy version? The first difference is that the economy version has no measuring pin, no titanium coated measuring pin. So the measuring surface here is, um, is a hardened steel measuring surface. This is the first difference between the two types. Another difference is the integrated taper. Standard version, I already explained, is a tungsten carbide taper but the economy version is a hardened steel taper, which is integrated here inside. 
So you have a two different um, uh, versions available from the analog type. This one is a little bit cheaper. In general, we have a two different version of this one. We have analog and digital version. So you can see here. The advantage of this one is for sure is a digital version. So there is a data output, for example, here. You have a IP65 um, uh, IP grade. So that means this one is uh, protected against the water and dust. There is a function lock um, here, and you can protect the display here against unauthorized use if you use a function lock. So for example, uh, there is a possibility to save two different preset value in the display unit. So and if you would like to, to protect the two um, preset values, you can use a function lock. So there is an ergonomic design. So it's not slippery. So it's very stable in your hand if you do the measurement here. You can see like this, because there is such kind of ergonomic form on the back side. The two different types, I mean digital and analog, we have um, uh, sets and individual units. Digital as well as an, uh, analog, uh, uh, as analog type, we have individual unit and we have the sets. First of all, if we have, let's say, the sets of the analog types here, so you can see we have the individual units here, we have a two setting rings, and here in this case, we have an extension rod, which is inside the set. And some, let's say, uh, set up instruments here to, to set to zero or to use, uh, to fix the extension rod. In general, all the three-point internal micrometers are delivered with a certificate of inspection. So this is in general always delivered together with a set or the individual units. The individual units, there is a big difference between the sets and the individual units. In the sets, as I already explained, there are the setting rings. However, the individual units are not delivered with a setting ring. This is a separate. So this is the analog type. And the digital type, we have the same. We have here um, the complete unit set. That means for all the different measuring heads, you have a one digital main unit. So that means in practice, in the shop floor environment, there is no need to change the measuring head. It's always together with this one. It's possible to change, but there is no need to change because in the set, there is for all the different measuring heads, one uh, digital main unit inside. So this is the first set. And the second set, is interchangeable headset. That means you have a one digital main unit in the set and sometimes three or sometimes four measuring heads inside and one extension rod. So that means in practice, if you would like to use another measuring head, you have to change this one. Yeah? So this one is a little bit cheaper for sure. I told you about the extension rod, which can be used. So the extension rod is this one here. For example, this is a 150 millimeter extension rod. So it's just uh, in between the micrometer head and the measuring head here in between. So with the extension rod, you can go uh, somewhere deep inside the hole if this one is necessary or not. For sure, as optional accessories, you can buy the extension rods if you need uh, an additional one or another one. Uh, 
Uh, last but not least, I would like to show you one instrument which is a little bit different. It's a three-point measuring instrument. However, there is no screw inside. The material measure is not a screw. The material measure is a, a linear scale. This one is called Bormatic. This one here is a set of a Bormatic. So you can see you have a one Bormatic main unit and the different measuring heads. So the principle of the Bormatic is a little bit different, I told you. Uh, is a, there is no screw inside. There is a linear scale. I will show you this one, how the measurement will be performed. So you see there is a hand grip here on the back side. And if you push the hand grip, the measuring insets, inserts, they are inside the measuring head, inside the housing. So if you open this one here automatically, based on a spring mechanism, which is integrated in the main unit here, the measuring insert, they go out and you can do the measurement like this. Maybe I will show you this one a little bit in the close-up. So the principle is like this. So you can see the hand grip here. So and you can put this one here inside. It's a very quick measurement and very easy to do. The display unit itself can be rotated by 180 degrees, for example, to see the result if the measurement position is a horizontal position. Or if this is a vertical position, you can rotate the display in that way. Or upright position, sorry, other direction. So then, oh, let's have a look. Then you have the upright position very easily. This was my explanation about three point internal measuring instruments or let's say three point internal micrometer screws. We know that this was a very, very short introduction and maybe you have some additional question, other questions or any kind of comments. Please do not hesitate to contact us. So we try to answer your questions as soon as possible. My name is Stefan Heinen and take care, see you soon and bye bye.